Okay, graduates, here we go. We're on lesson four, number one. Um, it's talking about a spherical balloon, so it's just a balloon, round. The volume is changing with respect to the balloon's radius. Find the rate of change of the balloon's volume when its radius is 15. Well, this is perfect because we've got volume and we've got radius. So this is perfect for derivatives because if you think even when we had displacement and we had to find velocity, it's always kilometers per hour. So it's one unit by another unit that you're finding your derivative. Um, so when you're doing this, you're doing volume with respect to radius, which just means you have to do the derivative with respect to radius. So we're going to do, whenever you want to find a rate of change, you're just going to do with the derivative of volume with respect to radius. So all that means is we've got to do the derivative of our expression right here. So if I'm going to do that derivative, the 3 comes to the front, and I get 12 divided by 3, so I'm going to get 4 pi r squared. So there's my derivative. Um, and it says find the rate of change, which this is our formula for rate of change, uh, of the balloon's volume when its radius is 15. So I want to know the derivative of the volume when the radius is 15. So I'm going to plug 15 in here. And I would get, if I leave it exact terms, I would get 900 pi. Now, what units am I in? It's really easy. It's just these units over these units. So we're going to say volume is centimeters cubed by centimeters. Word problem. Read the read of change. of volume with respect to radius is 900 pi centimeters cubed per centimeters. Got it. So there it all is. Okay, that's question number one. Next video for number two.